Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be storing photo cards. I know it's literally been nine months. I'm so sorry for the disappearance on my channel. Life happened, it's all good, we're fine. Um, I have so much to store as you can see. I also have a lot to discuss, so grab a snack, grab a drink, could be a little bit of a long one. Before we get into the storing portion, I kind of want to go over my retired collections binder. This doesn't mean that the groups are retired by any means, but this is just like me retiring the collection. Um, yep, we start with you. Then we go into Baby Monster from Us Nine, New Jeans. Stacy and Triple S. So that's in here. Love these girls, love these cards, which is why I'm not getting rid of them. And then if you remember my last video, I was collecting OT5 slash OT4 sets for the Seraphim. I did drop that. Um, so I kept just select cards of the other members that aren't Sakura and Chewon. You'll see the Chewon cards. There's a reason for that. Uh, so that's it in here. So we're gonna start with Sakura, and this binder used to hold my top three twice collection, and now it holds Eyes One and Sakura and like my Lacerapim cards. I have kind of teetered with the idea of collecting a Eyes One set to kind of start this binder. Like I have the One Reeler um, OT12 set, which was like really easy to get back in the day. Probably still really easy to get because almost everybody was getting it with their one reeler cards um with their one reeler albums but i really want to like actually collect an eyes one ot12 set i just don't know which one yet so that's why i haven't even set up for it because i know it's a little bit more of a dedication to do that but eyes one were my old girl group so i kind of want to have like one especially like to have their member colors on it would just be a really cool way to start this binder so that's an idea I've been playing with so then I have One Eric Diary, my select like Eugene cards, and my One Sakura card, my One Reeler cards, and then we go right into the Seraphim. Because I moved her into a six pocket binder, um, I now have more room to expand her collection. So two cards from Fearless that I'm adding are the monochrome bouquet versions. And that was pretty easy. Like, like I said, her collection just looks so good in a six pocket binder, A5 wide. Then we move into Anti-Fragile, which is complete for me. I only collected two compact versions, so, you know, this was pretty easy. Unforgiven was also complete and it just looks so good. Then we move into Easy, and I didn't love Easy Era that much, so I only collected six cards. I collected her photo book cards, um, her compact card, and then two lucky draws. I just wasn't like in love with the cards, so I didn't really go out of my way to like collect a lot for this era, which is another reason why I knew it was a good idea to keep her in this binder and not put her in the binder I put Eugen in. Um, also, Le Seraphim is just harder to collect in general compared to Eyes. Like, their prices are just higher for me. Like, like when I compare her prices with Eugen's prices, Eugen is a lot easier to collect. Um, that's just how it's been. So then these are the two lucky draws that I got from my friend. And that is it for easy. Lastly, we have crazy, which I only have one card and it is the target card. Kind of taking this era slow. Haven't also been attached to a lot of cards in this era. Um, and then in the back here, I have unit and group cards. 
this is where my Chaewon cards are because she was in Eyes One. I wanted to kind of keep her in this binder, um, and I do want to collect one card per era for her. Um, so I have Fearless, Anti Fragile, Unforgiven. I'm just missing Easy, and then I actually pulled this card from Crazy. So yeah, so that's why she's separate from the other girls. And then back here is my like dropped part of this. So I only kept three cards from Fearless Japan three cards from Unforgiven Japan, and then her season's greetings from the one year that I collected it, but I'm not collecting these. I'm not collecting non-album for her, um, and I'm not collecting Japan anymore, so this is kind of just back there because I don't want to get rid of these cards. So that is it for La Seraphim. Next up, we have by far the biggest stack of today's video, um, my Twice Collection. It is back into an A5, and that's honestly just because I got overwhelmed when I moved my Twice Collection into an A4, um, and I wanted to try like doing three cards per, like three sets per era, and I was doing like a nine pocket page basically, and I liked it, but then it was kind of making me not want to go out and like finish it, because then I was just getting cards to complete a collection that wasn't getting cards that I really loved. So I've decided to switch it up again and, cause like, when do I not? <laughs> um, I've switched it up again and now we are collecting it a little differently, but I will explain as we go through. So like before, I am starting with Fancy, but I have cards. So this should be pretty satisfying cause actually I think I'm only missing one card um, as of right now, but then I'll set up again for what I'm gonna explain. But yeah, we'll start with Fancy. If you didn't watch my last video, my top three is Dahyun, Nayeon, and Mina. And then my top four includes Momo. And I love Momo so much. It felt so weird, like, not collecting her. So I brought her back. <laughs> and basically, I dropped top three <laughs> and picked up one OT4 set per era, starting from Fancy. Um, and then... I'm only collecting two other sets for the two members I choose. So I'm kind of like choosing between Nayeon and Mina. So Dahyun stays throughout the whole collection, but like sometimes I'm picking Nayeon, sometimes I'm picking Mina. Most of the time it's been Nayeon just because I like her cards the most. But you'll see when Mina really just has her moment um, in my binder. And I loved bringing the Twice back into this binder because it is turquoise, which is Mina's color. So I just feel really happy to have twice back in here. So let's just start storing so it makes sense to see it. Um, so the first set I'm collecting was the flower set. And I do um, have Mina. So there's a chance like this could be my OT4 set. I just haven't looked for any cards yet. And... I'm going on like a little hiatus for the holiday season, so I don't want to like set up too much for things when I know I'm not going to be looking for cards. I'd rather see like completed collections right now than see gaps. I'm so sorry if you hear a lawnmower. I, I don't understand. Every time I try to film, someone is cutting the grass. Anyways, <laughs> landscaping grant aside. Um, basically what I was saying is I just want to see completed collections versus, uh, gaps and things like that. So, oh my gosh, these sleeves are disgusting. Okay, so as you can see, Fancy is technically complete if I'm not including the OT4 set. Then we move into Feel Special and I am also complete. My favorite Dahyun card. And then we'll move into more and more. And as you can see, Blonde Mina has entered the chat. I would do anything for Blonde Mina. So, and also Purple Dahyun. Like, what a time this was. This card remains my favorite Mina card. 
and I'm so happy to finally have her. So that is it for more and more. Um, I have gone back and forth about like my eyes wide open sets because now that I've changed how I'm setting them up, I might actually collect different sets. I'm not sure yet. I really do like um, the flower one, so I'm thinking of making that one my OT4 set, but I'm not positive what I want to do, so. And then we move into my first OT4 set, and from here on out, OT4 is like here. Um, so we have Drink Momo, which is the only one we were missing. Look how good! I, I love them. And then two sets from this is the other like non-drink set. And then we have this Momo. I love this set. Then we have Peach Momo. And the further away outdoor cards. Then this Momo. Love this one. This one's actually been in my room since Ready to Be came out. <laughs> it was like in one of my PC holders. And then this is the only Nyon card I'm actually missing. And then we have this Dahyun. And the last thing is the newest era, which is with youth. And with youth, I actually collected um, probably the most surprising set because I feel like most people wouldn't have picked this one for their main set. But I actually chose this concept because I really love this Momo card. So <laughs> I also need to give a big, big thank you to. She used to be Dajuns, but she did change her name. So. I'll put it here. <laughs> um, she basically is the reason I have this whole With Youth collection, so thank you so much, Erin. Love you. And I know Mina sticks out, but I feel like this set really just works. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like even though, yes, she is in the daylight, it just works. And then, of course, we have the bear hats and the blast version. And that is it for twice. So I'm really happy with this. I hope it still looks okay. Um, <laughs> I know top three is so much more satisfying, but I'm really enjoying this. So I hope you guys like it. So we do still have two more binders. One is Eugen's main binder, like her, her own binder. And then this binder, which I will talk about in a second. Dahyun is on the cover, but obviously she is not in this binder. Um, I do plan on putting a Eugen picture eventually on here. I'm just kind of waiting to get like a good mini poster to cover, um, to use as a cover. Or I'm going to make a collage, but I'm not sure yet. So in here is actually a few different groups slash idols. Um, so we actually first start off with Aran, who used to be 50-50. So when they re-debut, I will be adding cards. If they have a physical, obviously, I don't even know if they're going to have a physical, but, um, I'm only missing one card for debut technically, so once I get that, which it's on the way, this will be complete. So I have the 50 and then the beginning Cupid era. 
so um that's her full collection pretty much and then once she redebuts i will be continuing to collect her because she is one of my favorite idols i've just missed her dearly and i just i hope the girls are okay that's really all i care about and then we move into ive eugen get ready guys we have a lot to store um <laughs> yeah so remember when i said i wanted to be selective with what i was collecting throw that out the window we are here to clown we are here to just deep dive into collecting eugen completely and by completely i mean album card wise like whoa not being a completionist by any means i've pobs are no joke i'm collecting all of her album cards as well as a few pobs to like make an eye pocket page and this is a lot easier for me than like any other idol to do this for because when it comes to Eugene cards like it, I'm a simple person I see a cute one I hit purchase it is what it is you know it's like the reason I know Eugen is my ult is because she's exactly the way I am with Jimin and JK who are my other ults so like it, yeah I just always knew she was an ult but like really like with her collection she is just so much ult status to me um that I was like, nope, we're expanding her collection. So we are collecting a nine pocket per era. Hopefully I stay within that. Again, it's very easy for me to buy cards for her. And she's a lot cheaper than some other idols and her album cards can go for like $2. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I have her 11 ID. I have the most exciting pob in existence this one is so hard to get it's always been hard to get but it was always so overpriced and i found someone selling it for a normal price so don't panic i promise i didn't overpay i found it for a normal price and i was scared i was gonna get scammed i'm not gonna lie because i was like there's just no way but i checked it's official look at her why are we out of focus focus on her look at her the pal everything this is the Eugene card. Enough said. And I have it. Like, whoa. This is crazy to me. Um, I do have her in white sleeves, but I will be changing her out eventually to clear sleeves. Uh, I just haven't uh, got new dragon shield sleeves yet, so <laughs> she'll be in white sleeves until I do that. I have this pob. And this one. So that is what a completed nine pocket page for 11 looks like. Next is Love Dive. I have version three. I have one of the cutest pops I have always wanted as well. Um, and then we move into After Like, where I have version 2 and version 3. And then a Pob. So that is it for After Like. And then we move into I of Ive. Version 1. Version 2. Um, and I catty cornered these because these are all the same outfit. So then we move into I've mine, which I have off the record. I'm hoping you guys can see. Batty. the cutest pob i just said that about like all her other pops but like come on how do you like not want to collect her pops i loved her off the record pops i mean <laughs> i loved her i've mine pops i think they're so cute i'm a sucker for like holiday christmas cards so I just always love to, I mean, clearly, you know, I just love them. So lastly, we have 
the newest era i've switched which i say that as if there's not like a potential comeback happening soon like i don't even know if it's confirmed but like that's terrifying like i'm not ready give me a minute <laughs> so this is version two apple music pop with the wigs which are so iconic this one i love this one so much and this one i do know these because they're the most recent like this is tower records and this is with me this one is gonna caddy corner because her um other card will be here and that is it for i've switched and then the newest to come back will go here whenever that's announced the next person in here is jenny as a soloist so she was an edmix so these are her admir cards and then we go into her spread for her debut as a soloist um i loved it so i went crazy and got a lot of stuff for it got a signed album for it like i love you jenny you will always be famous to me i hope she does have a comeback but you know it's never guaranteed with soloists so um kind of holding out hope for one but this is the spread which i'm pretty proud of she had a lot of album cards so this was kind of easy to do so and then the last group in here is WJSN, girlies, come home, I miss you. <laughs> so if they do have a comeback, if, um, I will be collecting Unso moving forward, so yeah. But I didn't want to get rid of my collection, so it's back here. And it's downsized quite a bit, so that you might not be seeing certain cards that there used to be. Like, Neverland is, like, split like this, and Unnatural's here, so, um, yeah, and then it's just a ton of pobs, and things like that, and then back here is, like, WJ Send the Black, and then non-album things, so, that is it for this binder, I love it, um, I love having Eugen in here, so, that's it for the A4, and we'll move into the last binder, which is an A5. This one is just going to be a flip through. I have already stored all of these cards, but just wanted to show my little Eugen binder. Um, these are non-album cards for her, which are typically just collaborations and like summer photo books. So we have her first round of Clio. This is round two. This is round three. Round four, which is the newest round that I put in, but I don't think you actually saw me put in round three either. So, um... And then we have the summer photo book and the Polaroid is on the back. And then I just have her uh, same larger inclusions back here, but like, you know, this binder might seem a little silly. I could probably put these in the A4, but I really just love having her own binder for her. Hi, little add on to this video. Um, This is actually just a small A5 binder for some of my hockey cards. Um, if you know my channel, I'm going to assume you know Froggy Ben. Um, she and I both collect sports cards. She collects baseball, I collect hockey, um, and we've actually become really close because of it. And I'm very grateful um, to have someone to chat about like sports cards with. Um, so if you want to see a baseball card collection, heavily recommend checking out Ben's channel. Um, and if you want to see a hockey collection, like let me know. I can totally show one. Um, like I, I have one binder full of all 32 teams. Um, which is really fun. I'm proud of that binder. Um, so if you want to see that, let me know. I also have another binder with more special cards. This one is specifically just for, um, the sole purpose is so I can show off this page, um, <laughs> which is Hyunjae from The Boys, his 2022 season greetings card. He did his, um, photo shoot in a Winnipeg Jets jersey, um, and it is pretty authentic. He has, like, the alternate Captain's A on there. Um, and I actually have the alternate Captain currently. Um, his name is Josh Morrissey. I have his card. So it's uh, kind of fun to, like, look at, you know, an idol wearing a pretty authentic jersey. I wanted to end the video on this. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.